Today I'm super excited to be playing with a new vegan and cruelty-free makeup line from Misguided. So you may know Misguided for their clothing. They've always been a pretty popular site to buy trendy outfits from, but they recently launched their own makeup brand and today I'm gonna be trying a full face of it. I'm also happy to announce that Misguided is today's sponsor, but you know that I'm still gonna keep it real and brand deals would not happen without you all. So thank you so much for letting me do what I love for my job. So we're gonna get into trying this new makeup but first if you're new here hi my name is Miranda welcome to my channel where we talk all things budget beauty if that sounds interesting to you and then become the newest member of the slashed squad by hitting subscribe and the bell icon so I've got my whole haul right here so there are 148 makeup items in this brand I think that also includes all of the shade options now as far as the pricing of this line I would say that it's sort of middle of the road between drugstore and high-end a lot of the products are between 13 and $25. However, every single time I go on the site, there's some type of sale or discount code that brings the price of this makeup more down to drugstore level. And even over the past couple weeks, I've seen them on sale for 50% off like multiple times. Misguided also has a student discount option. So there's a better than great chance that you'll be able to score a deal on this makeup. So let's try on some makeup, starting with the new Misguided Meet Your Match Demi Matte Foundation. So this is $22 full price, but as I'm filming this, it's on sale for 11. It's available in 25 shades and it's supposed to offer lightweight and buildable medium coverage that is long lasting. I am using the shade number seven today. If you've been following me, you know that it's been a struggle lately picking my shade online. We will see. Ooh might be a little light, but let's see what happens when we blend it out. Okay, so far it's actually spreading really nicely. Ooh, and I definitely see the coverage. So I had a little bit of hyperpigmentation from a healing acne spot. I had another one here and you can see there's one on my forehead. And it seems to be covering pretty well with our first layer. Okay, you know what? As I start blending this, I think we're gonna be okay with this color. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so we have one layer down. I'm pretty happy with how much coverage we got with just this one thin layer. I am really liking the finish. You can definitely see a glow to my skin that was not there before. And in general, it kind of just looks like my skin a little bit more blurred and even. I do wanna see how buildable it actually is though. So I am gonna go back in and try to add a little bit of coverage to the spots that I wanna conceal and see how we do. Oh yeah, we are definitely able to build up that coverage. I'm surprised. <laughs> when layering, I feel like we're getting pretty close to the full end of medium. At least with this spot here, I can barely see it anymore. And it definitely does feel light, even on the areas where I layered, it doesn't feel like it's a heavy or thick layer. All right, we're one for one with the Meet Your Match foundation. I am curious to see how it will perform throughout the day though. So moving on to their next product, I'll be trying the new Misguided Right Now Brow Thickening Brow Gel. This is in the shade Super Dark. It is supposed to add a tint and it contains moisturizing aloe vera leaf juice and pamphlet. Now, brow gels are very hit or miss for me. I do have some areas of my brow that just like don't have hair. So they need to have enough of a tint and enough of a hold so that I can actually add color there like in my arch and then also comb some hair over it and keep it in place. <laughs> the first thing I'm noticing about this brow gel is that it's got a pretty thin consistency, which I don't necessarily mind because I don't want thick and gloopy brows. <laughs> but I am curious about the hold. Okay, it seems to be adding the tint to my skin actually pretty well. And then the other area I typically have problems with with brow gel is right up here in front, again, because I just need a little extra color to create this bottom border, but this is actually doing a great job. Like it created brow where there was no brow. The brow's actually already feeling set. So there is a little bit of a stiffness to it. It doesn't feel hard or crunchy though, but it does have the hold that I would want from a brow gel. It's really hard for me to get this type of definition and color or tint from a brow gel usually, so I'm genuinely impressed. Do you have one eyebrow that just like does not cooperate? It never matches, it never turns out how you want it to. 
That's my left brow. Wow, I'm, it like builds up so fast. Okay, wait, how much was this brow gel though? Okay, full price, this brow gel is $14. Right now on the site, it's seven. And that's still, I think almost half price of my favorite like higher end brow gel. And I would say that this is doing just as well. Yeah, see like this one has such a better like arch and swoop. <laughs> this one's just kind of like meh. This is probably the product out of my entire haul that I was most nervous to try as part of a sponsorship on camera for the first time. Things could go wrong with a bad brow gel, but I am very relieved to say that this might be my new like favorite favorite, depending on how it lasts though. That's still, we still have to consider that. I'm very grateful that one shade eyeshadow looks are in style right now because as much as I love an intricate eyeshadow look with a bunch of different colors incorporated, my actual day-to-day -day look is using something that's easy to swipe over the lid and just blend out and go. So Misguided Beauty has these Lids 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 Cream Eyeshadow and this is exactly the type of product that I like to use for this look. So full price, this is $16 but again, looking at the site right now, they're on sale for eight. They're supposed to be crease proof, buildable, high pigment cream shadow. So I have the shade It's Lit, which looked like a really, really pretty copper. Thought that it'd be great for spring and summer. So let's just go right in. Usually I'll apply things like this with my finger. And since the formula is already crease proof on its own, I'm not going to prime my eyes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's really pretty. So we've got like this copper and there are very, very fine shimmer particles to it. Super warm and glowy. Oh wow, it's already setting. It's already drying down. Yeah, it like dries down to a completely matte feel. Moving on, I'm gonna add a little bit of eyeliner to my waterline and the outer corner of my eyes. So this is the new Misguided Slick Flick Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. Full price, it's $11, which is actually almost drugstore level in and of itself. It is smudge and transfer proof with up to 10 hours of wear. I have the shade Double Espresso. I have really been moving away from black winged liner and doing smudgy brown liner in the outer corners of my eye and I just love the look. It really enhances my eyes, makes them look a little bit bigger, a little smoky action, and hopefully it's easy to blend because that is key for creating this look. So first I'm gonna go in as a tight line under my lashes. Okay, good, I like the color. Let me just swatch it for you really quickly so you know what it's actually looking like. It's a really nice, rich, deep brown. Okay, so it is gliding on my waterline, no issues, like full pigment. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a little bit to the outer corner, both on the top and bottom. And then I go in with a little smudge brush and smoke it out. And for some reason, this just looks really different when you do it with brown versus black. A little bit more of like a natural shadow, making your lashes look more flared, making your eyes look bigger. Okay, so back to this liner though. It seems to be blending out really easily without losing pigment. That is the important part. <laughs> that end wasn't gonna do anything. <laughs> Yeah, see how it's just like blending really nicely, creating that smoke effect without taking off the liner. All right, I got high, high hopes for the Misguided Oh High Lash Mascara. So this is $18. It's a fiber mascara that's supposed to curl and lengthen without clumping. And that is exactly what my short and straight lashes need. <laughs> okay, so the wand is a comb wand. It's actually pretty skinny. Skinny and pointed, which I think will be helpful in separating and fanning out the lashes. And it looks like it has a ton of bristles on it. Ooh, okay, so this is definitely keeping my lashes separated and coating them. So we're definitely also getting some really noticeable volume. I think I understand why it's called Oh Hi Lash. <laughs> okay, so first of all, you can see the before and after. We've got a lot of length, a little bit of thickness and fanning out on this side, but I think this mascara actually lifted my lashes higher than my lash curler that I have to go in with the eyeliner again to like re-tight line areas that I couldn't see before. 
<laughs> it doesn't necessarily make my lashes look more full, but that's not a deal breaker for me because I do already sort of have dense lashes. I'm really liking this wand though, and because of how skinny it is, it's actually perfect for the bottom lashes as well without getting mascara all over your under eye area. Let's add some bronze to this face. So I have the new Misguided Beauty Instant Vacay Bronze Duo Powder. It's available in two versions, light and dark, and I have dark. And here are the two shades you get inside. So I will say that the dark bronzer, it's not really dark. So that's a little bit of an opportunity that they have to expand this line and definitely include some shades that would work a little bit better with deeper skin tones. I would say that this is like the perfect contour shade for my skin tone, which is light medium in most like foundation ranges. I am gonna go into the darker shade today just to contour with and we'll see what we got here. Ooh, oh, okay. So maybe I spoke too soon. That was it. <laughs> is actually a little bit darker on the skin than it is in the pan. Interesante. <laughs> okay, we're gonna blend. We're gonna blend. Still probably not going to be workable for deep skin tones, but I will say that this is translating on the face a little bit darker than it looks just inside the compact. It's also a little warmer on the face than it looks in the compact. So you are getting more of like that sun-kissed, bronzy type sculpt. I'm gonna try to go in a little lighter on this side. <laughs> we did not need to go in that heavy, but I mean, I guess that goes to show you that this has pigment. Okay, that side looks like infinitely better now that I know what we're working with. <laughs> I was just a little taken aback. I didn't expect it to be that pigmented. Yeah, that looks really pretty. I mean, it blended out very smoothly. All right, next up we have the Misguided Beauty Stop I'm Blushing High Pigment Matte Blush. This is $14 full price. It's supposed to be buildable from sheer to bold. I'm gonna tread lightly though. I have the shade About Last Night, which kind of looked like a peachy color online. I don't know, that does not look sheer to me. <laughs> I just tapped in to the compact and a lot of color came off. We'll start light. Oh yeah, this is pigmented. Okay, so if you want like sheer color, you're gonna wanna go in really light. Okay, but that is beautiful. Ooh, I'm so excited. And this looks so good with the eyeshadow as well. It sort of brings out those warmer tones. Ooh, okay, I'm happy. I mean, luckily heavy blush is very in style right now, but you know, everything in moderation. Okay, I've been going through this routine. Just really, really excited to try this one product. This is the Misguided Beauty High Lit Liquid Highlighter. This is $22 full price. I have the shade called Prinks. Oh my gosh. <gasps> okay, okay, let's blend. Okay, that was a really light application and this is really intense. <laughs> Ooh, okay, this is creating a really, really pretty glow. It is very beam-like. It's very consistent and even. There is shimmer in the formula, but it's not shimmer forward, if that makes sense. It doesn't rely on the shimmer to give you the highlight. That is Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna add a tiny, tiny bit to my brow bone. It is really light as well. I mean, this is truly like a liquid highlighter. It's very thin and it's drying down quickly and to sort of a powder finish. So even though it's giving me a pretty dewy look, it doesn't feel dewy at all on the face or to the touch. This little doe foot applicator is really handy for all these tight spaces. Gonna top off this look with a little lip gloss. This is the Misguided Beauty Lip Juice Super Shine Lip Gloss. It is $14 full price. And I have the shade First Date. <gasps> Oh wow, I did not expect that. <laughs> it's going on like as pigmented as a liquid lipstick. This feels good. It does not feel sticky at all. It's got like a melty, balmy consistency. Ah, okay, so it's enriched with argan oil and mango butter, vegan and cruelty-free like the rest of the line. Yeah. It's moisturizing, all right. All right, I have a pretty darn good first impression of this entire makeup line. I can see myself working these products, like every single one of them, into my regular routine, but of course, I don't wanna speak too soon. I do wanna wear this look throughout the day, see how everything performs, so I will be checking in with you a little bit later. Okay, it's been a quick second for you, but seven hours for me since I put this makeup on, so let me zoom you in so you can see how it held up. 
All right, first of all, it was over 90 degrees today and I have been out running errands, so there has been some sweating happening. But despite that, I think the foundation actually looks really good. Everything still looks very smooth and even. I don't think we lost any of the medium full coverage, especially in this area. I don't see that dark spot. I think this is just as covered as it was this morning. And I'm really happy about the fact that it didn't settle into any of my fine lines or expression lines. And that's something that I've been complaining a lot about recently. If I'm being really picky, the only place that I see a little bit of noticeable wear is right in my nostril and on the top of my nose. I can see a little bit of foundation breakdown in the pattern of my pores. And that is the oiliest spot on my face, but considering we didn't put down any primer, we didn't set this foundation at all, that's pretty good. So next time I wear this, I'll just remember to powder my nose and my T-zone. Okay, this brow gel. I will say the hold held up. The actual brow hairs stayed in place all day. However, the tint and the pigment from the gel didn't quite hold on to the sparse areas where it was just going over bare skin. In those areas, I can see some fading and some kind of just missing pigment. I do still really like the hold and the overall fluffy effect that it gave my brows. I think in the future though, I will just use it as a topper and fill in my brows with either a powder or a pencil. So I have a few mixed feelings about the eye makeup. The eyeshadow didn't fade at all. It's still looking very vibrant. It's still blended out really nicely. I have just the slightest bit of creasing in the innermost corner on both of my lids. Now again, I did not put primer down. My lids are relatively oily, easily fixable with primer. I just wanted to push it to its limits. Now this mascara, oh my God, I love how my lashes look. Even at the end of the day, they are still looking so lifted. They did not droop down at all. They're was flaking with this mascara. It's pretty common with fiber mascaras, especially if you try to build them up like I did. Applying a thinner layer of mascara can help avoid this and that's definitely what I'm gonna be doing in the future because I still love how this mascara transformed my lashes. Now the contour blush and highlight, I'm in love with. Literally no complaints. They all still look beautifully blended and seamless with the rest of my face makeup. This highlight is still popping, A plus for all three. And as for the lip gloss, I'm a huge fan, obviously being a gloss. It's not transfer proof or super long lasting, especially if you are eating and drinking, but it's easy to reapply and honestly kept my lips feeling so smooth. I think that my lips look better now after wearing this all day than they did before I applied it. <laughs> so tell me in the comments, what do you think of Misguided Beauty and which of these products could you see yourself working into your spring makeup routine? Today's shout out goes to Stephanie. Thanks for being a member of the Slashed Squad and join me over in this video next for more budget beauty finds. I'll see you over there. Bye.